Hey loves, my name is Kyle August and I'm here to help you manifest in the quickest and easiest way possible. Today we're going to talk about controlling negative thoughts, which I think is always important when it comes to manifestation because right now when it comes to negative thoughts, most of the advice online or that you'll get is like, oh, just live in the wish fulfilled state, right? Just stop worrying about it, right? And you're like, oh, that's so helpful. If I could stop thinking these negative thoughts, I would just stop thinking them, right? But there's a good metaphor to think upon that Neville Goddard actually mentions in his book. I think it's at your command. I'm not entirely sure, but it's one of, it's Neville Goddard work, um, in which you kind of visually visualize yourself as a tree and not in the same way that I mentioned um, in one of my previous videos about imagine yourself in a tree, like you're the tree and your manifestations are the fruit. And I think that is a super super good metaphor to hold on to. And I can even uh, mention it just really quickly right here so it makes a lot of sense. Um, in your reality, always imagine, if you imagine yourself as the tree and your manifestation as the fruit, you want to imagine or give yourself all of the nutrients, all of the sunlight, all of the water to then increase your manifestations. And that's a good way to focus on your internal state. But this time, it's going to be specifically for negative thoughts, negative feelings, worries like that. So back into feeling like a tree, okay? Right now, you're feeling like this tree. And imagine your thoughts and your beliefs, your assumptions as the tree kind of rooting out, okay? So you're basically getting, your branches are extending anytime you think or imagine a thought. And let's say sometimes your thoughts don't go according to exactly how you want to grow because remember you're a tree and they grow abnormally. What happens then? So let's say you got your usually equivalent with, I know this is funny, we're talking about being a tree, but imagine again, you're this tree growing tree branches and your negative thoughts are this abnormal growth. So what are you going to do to get rid of that abnormal growth? Think about what you would do to any other shrub or any other tree when this begins to happen. What do you do? All you do is you trim it, right? So you, I like to imagine it in this way. Anytime I begin to think or believe something that does not align me with the outcome I want, I like to imagine it as like that thought is pushing out growing outside of my normal range and I just come in and I snip it off, right? Because that to me, and hopefully it helps you out a lot and it's helped a lot of people I've coached out a lot, it helps visualize, okay, so when I have a negative thought, if you think just don't think it, there's nothing really to accomplish there, right? Like, oh, just don't do that. It's really hard to just not do something. But we know, well, as you know, in the law of assumption, the way we visualize, the way we view things has a huge impact on how we're actually going to react. Like again, the way that you view your relationship with your specific person, that's going to have huge impacts on your assumptions and what gets eventually, or what gets reflected in your external reality. So if you can then view all of your negative thoughts as being just branches stemming off of you that are actually growing out of the norm, not to your normal assumptions, and you just imagine yourself again, just trimming them off, putting yourself back, basically having, it's almost like a mental diet, um, putting yourself back into the perfect abundant state. It's going to make those negative thoughts not have as much power over you as you might have felt that they had previously. Because again, when you're thinking, just don't think that, when you think, don't think that, and you're just thinking, let's not think about these negative things, let's not think about these horrible things, let's not think about the third party, not think about the no contact, that's all that ends up being brought into your mind. Because the more you actively pursue or push against something, the more it's going to show up countering into your reality. It's kind of the, the quote of, uh, my worst fear has come upon me, right? In that case, we find that the more we kind of push against something, the more we try to resist something, the more we actually give energy to that thing that we're resisting, right? Because if truly we lived in a reality where we only thought abundant things and thoughts, what would ever be there to push against, right? Like we can only push against or maneuver against something that physically exists. And if you want the negative thoughts and negative feelings and negative emotions uh, to completely disappear, 
then we need to completely make them disappear. And you can't push against something that doesn't exist. And so that's, it's funny, hopefully this isn't confusing, but it's a way to really realize that the way we approach certain things can actually cause them to exist. Like if you're ignoring something, like let's say you're in traffic and you're just actively ignoring it. In that case, we're not really living in a reality or an existence where traffic doesn't exist, right? We're living in a reality where we're attempting the, uh, the traffic exists. We're just trying to ignore it completely. And in that case, we have then given life to this traffic. We've given, given life to this negative thing. But again, we're just trying to avoid it and get rid of it. But this is where the idea of the, the trimming of the tree or the shrubbery is going to come into effect. And it's going to make it seem a whole lot easier. Um, because if, sorry, I'm kind of like switching between arms because I'm on a, I'm on a tripod again. It's, uh, my arms are getting sore. Um, but again, it's, if you think or imagine yourself as kind of having this thought process and this thought process is these growing of the shrubbery and anytime you find your mind kind of thinking abnormally to just trim it, it seems and makes it so much easier because you're just trimming it off, right? That thought is not in accordance to what you want. It's not in the growth that you want as an individual. It's not in the growth that you want in your assumptions. So just trim it off. And like I mentioned, this is actually an idea that Neville Goddard talked about. And again, I'll try and find which specific book it is if you guys want to read it. Um, but I think it was like at your command. I'm not 100% certain though. Um, but just viewing it in that way, viewing it in a in the idea that you can just trim off what you don't want. You can just trim off those negative thoughts because really nothing is keeping you in that state except ourselves. And I know that sounds like, oh, it's it kind of is really hard to fully grasp that idea um, because it's like, well, I'm in the place I am because of my own assumptions, um, but it is true. And I think there is a lot of power in that, in the idea that we are going to take control of it. Because as you know, if something happens in our reality, that's not necessarily awesome. Like let's say we've manifested a third party. We have kind of two different choices that we can go when, or we can kind of take two choices we can take when we see this happening. The first is going to be that we feel really horrible and bad that we've created this third party and what's wrong with us. Why did we do this? How we're so bad. And I would not never ever go down that path because it's not true at all. The second and most abundant path I would take if you ever see something happening outside of you that you don't necessarily like is to realize that um, really everything around you is attempting to help you get to where you want. Now, I'd always go back to that metaphor of the director and the play, right? You're the director of the play happening in your reality and everyone around you is just acting out the script that we're handing them. So if we're handing them a script to be a third party, we can't really blame them for doing that, right? Because we're handing them the script. But if instead we hand them the script of someone who is helping us out or loving us or giving us, like basically pushing us towards what we want, um, then instead we're going to see them acting in that way. And because, so if we have the power to create that, so if we have the power to create the third party in this way, we have the perfect, sa perfectly same amount of power to get rid of it and then create exactly what we want at the flip of a, or at the snap of a finger, right? Um, it's just that easy. So don't ever worry or fear like, oh, I've created this thing. I'm thinking this thought that I don't want. Um, it's really kind of simple and easy. Just imagine the metaphor. You're trimming off that extra shrubbery that you don't need, that doesn't help you that is helping you grow abnormal. Cause I feel like there's another part of that visualization that helps me out anyway and helped a lot of the people out that I've coached and taught this to as well is the idea that when we are fully engulfed in our internal state that we want in our assumptions and our wish fulfilled, we have this kind of unity or this synchronicity, I guess you'd have, or I can't think of the word, but symmetry, I guess would be that you are fully encompassed, you have fully taken form of the reality you want. And when you begin to grow or have those negative thoughts and they kind of make your growth abnormal, it shifts that and it alters that. 
And again, all we have to do is take our little uh, mental shears and we just cut it out, which is kind of funny. It's just cut it out, right? No, I know it sounds, it's way easier when you imagine it. But next time you do have some negative thoughts, um, think about that. Think of, is this aligning me or making my symmetrical imaginary assumption perfect in every way possible? And if not, then just cut it off, right? Just get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't have to have it. There's nothing useful about it. And you're going to find that everything flows and feels much easier. So again, next time you have a negative thought, uh, just cut it off. Just as your mental shrubbery of growth, just completely cut it off you. Um, if you guys did have any questions about this concept or it kind of seems confusing, um, leave all the questions um, down below in the comments section. Remember, you can also reach out to me at kyleaugustcoaching.com for one-on-one -on -one coaching, or if you wanted to send me a personal question, you can send me uh, send it to me there as well. If you really, really enjoyed this video, um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and then don't forget to subscribe as well. I really hope this idea helps you out. Let me know all the successes you get with this idea. But thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm so glad we're able to discuss this idea and I can help you get to your specific person, but I'll see you in the next video.